What up, soldiers? Manly here at the Man Cave. Strongman Sunday. About two hours ago, I had a straight up man breakfast of steak, eggs, hash browns, grits, toast, and coffee. I'm feeling pretty damn saucy. Ready to move some heavy weights. But before I do, got to give you that you know tutorial on farmers walks I've been promising you about. Was going to do it Friday. Didn't have the manpower to do it. Saturday, a little rainy. Sunday, beautiful day out. It's a great day to show you what's up with it. Farmer's walks, if you don't know, it's a pretty simple lift. You pick up heavy weights and you walk with it. Simple enough. That said, with everything, every task, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. I'm gonna show you a couple tricks, show you how to get the most out of it. Overall, farmer's walks are a great way to get a badass grip, so big forearms, big shoulders, big broad back, build your work capacity, and overall, just be a badass. So check out what we're doing, let me know if you have any questions, and hopefully I can dispel any myths about this wonderful, glorious, strongman lift. Have a good Sunday, soldiers. Mandler, out. All right, so we have the farmer's walks handled here. Uh, I already chalked up. If you haven't chalked up already, you probably wanna do that. Keep your hands from slipping. I'm gonna set up with my feet right under my hips, right in the middle of the handles. And the first thing I'm gonna do, instead of reaching straight down, I'm gonna curl my wrist in a little bit. Stay nice and tight. I'm in position. Everything from my ass all the way up to the top of my head is completely aligned. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Stay tight. And that's the pick. Alright, so I showed you how to do the pick, we're going to talk about the walk now. So I've got the pick, stay nice and tight. We want short, choppy steps, short, quick steps, and my head is about five feet ahead of me at all times. Keeping my back nice and tight, right there. Without a doubt, if you talk to any strong man who does the farmer's walk, the one thing that sucks the most about farmers is the turn. What I'm going to show you is how to, you know, essentially do it with greatest efficiency. What you want to do is simply, if you're turning left, you want to turn that left hand in so the weights hit, and when you turn, they'll straighten back out. I'm going to show you two in real time. Make this real quick and easy for you. <coughs> Short, quick steps, tighten up, right back at. A couple final notes about the farmer's walks. Uh, I see a couple mistakes on common uh, basis. One thing is on the pick, a lot of guys will reach straight down. I told you, remember, curl, keep it nice and tight when you pull it in. It's going to lock it right into place. Another thing to do with the pick, guys will stay nice and tight, but when they go to lift it, they're going to jerk up. That's a great way to tear your biceps and be out for a while. Not cool. One last thing, you can't be a pussy. All farmers walks and really all strongman competitions and events, it's a lot of tough, hard work, and if you can't deal with the pain, don't even try it. One final note about the farmer's walks, you do not want to let your calluses get too thick. All right, all you need to do is after you get out of the shower, take one of these pet eggs, which you can get at either CVS or Walgreens, and shave the calluses down. You do not want to be training um, or even in a competition and have your hand bust wide open because your calluses got too thick and the handles on the farmer's walks rip your hands open. It's not cool. It's painful and ultimately you're not going to be able to train for another you know, two or three weeks until your hands mend. So don't be stubborn, shave down those calluses and get better. 